This is the Insta360 Ace Pro. It is a new action camera from Insta360 and this is some of the footage that I've been shooting with this camera. Yeah guys, this is a, another camera from Insta360, probably like the fifth one this year. This camera is not 360, it's just a action camera, but it comes with some pretty interesting innovations. I have to admit that usually I don't find these kind of cameras that interesting, but when they showed me what it could do and some of the new features, I do think this is actually worth considering. It's definitely a competitor to the GoPro Hero range. Uh, I found the latest GoPro to be pretty lackluster, but I can share with you my top 10 most interesting new features for the Insta360 Ace Pro, which I think actually makes it pretty unique, pretty interesting, and pretty innovative. If you've wanted an action camera that can shoot really well in low light situations at night time, then this could be the camera for you. The camera comes with a mode called Pure Video, which basically boosts the dynamic range, brightness, and decreases noise when shooting in these kinds of environments. Usually action cameras really struggle with low light situations because the sensors are so small and they're just not able to capture low light without that kind of noise. Now the Ace Pro comes with a larger sensor than most other action cameras, 1-1.3 inches. That's larger than the GoPro Hero 12 and 11 and pretty much every other action camera out there right now. But it also has a chip in the camera, so a kind of mini computer, which works to decrease the noise and increase the brightness of the low light scenarios so there is a special mode in the camera when you want to select this it works like I said best in low light situations and I've tested it out I've compared it to the GoPro Hero 11 and I think it's pretty impressive if you've used Insta360 cameras before then you'll know that it's uh, there's been a pure shot mode so a photo version of this mode which again works pretty well so now there is a video version just for this camera right now I don't know if it's gonna come to any others but hopefully it will. So you'll probably notice from the kind of slick advertising and a lot of the trailers and stuff that people are going to mention with this camera AI. I mean, I know it's really a buzzword of the past year, so they're calling this an AI camera. But what does that actually mean? Well, one of the features that they say uses AI in this camera is called AI highlights. So when you activate this feature in the menu system and then you go and shoot a video that's, you know, at least a minute or so long, the camera will automatically detect what it thinks are the most interesting parts of your video. Then when you stop recording, you can go and view it. And from there, you can choose to select all of those highlights and merge them together, either discarding the original video or just making a copy, but only with those highlights. Or you can go in and add your own highlights if you think the camera hasn't quite got what you wanted it to, it's not quite picked up the uh, the parts of the video that you found interesting. You can just highlight the parts of your video that you like and then discard the rest of the video. So this not only allows for some kind of internal editing in the camera, out you can edit the bits you don't want out on the camera itself, that saves space on your SD card and allows you to combine the most interesting parts of your clips without having to edit on a desktop or laptop or your phone. Now next up is the most interesting AI feature of this camera and it's called AI Warp. Now this is available in the Insta360 app. When you go to the shot lab area, you'll see AI Warp at the top. Now this is almost like a, a chat GPT prompt. It's a bit hard to explain, but basically you can use a prompt you can uh, kind of like chat GBT or something. So you highlight a part of your video that you want to change. I can show you an example here. And then you type out what you want it to look like. Then the app will process that. It will send it off to a server. It will take a couple of minutes and then you'll get a video back that should represent what you typed into that prompt. You can be really creative here. Select a person, select an object and change it to a different object or change it to pretty much anything you can think of. I've not had anything fail so far and there are also some predetermined effects available in the app as well like this futuristic or anime and I'm really kind of amazed at how this works. <laughs> I'll probably do a whole separate video on this because it is quite interesting and it will be interesting to see what the limitations are. So far you can only do this with four seconds of video at a time so that is a pretty big limitation. 
Hopefully that will increase with time. And also it does take quite a while for it to process. It's gonna take a couple of minutes each time. So those are some limitations, but these are some of the effects that I've made with this AI warp. This is not done in After Effects. This is literally only done in the app with the AI warp feature. So it's a really interesting development. And this is something pretty, I don't know, futuristic. And yeah, this is really is a use of AI. So the Ace Pro's maximum video resolution is 8K at 24 frames per second. However, that mode was not available while I was testing the camera. It will be available on launch day, as in today. But the next highest resolution is 4K. So for most of the videos you shoot, you're probably going to be using the 4K mode. However, the camera also has active HDR, which allows you to boost the dynamic range when shooting in bright conditions. It works best in daylight, brings out the color in overly highlighted areas. So I've tested that out and it does again work pretty well. It boosts the quality of your video with just pretty much a tap of a button and it works with the resolution of 4K at 30 frames, 25 and 24. What, and this is what it looks like. And I have done some comparisons with the GoPro Hero 11 and I will be doing some with the GoPro Hero 12. So those will be the next videos coming out if you wanna know the difference between these two cameras. Subscribe and that will be my next video. Next up is the ability to pause and resume recording your videos. Instead of having to shoot a 10 second video here, a 10 second video there, and just have your camera full of these short little clips, instead you can just start recording and then pause, move to the next shot, and then continue recording, and all of that will be in one video and it will automatically jump between where you paused and where you resume. Again, this is great for video management. I personally get very annoyed when I have dozens of 10 second videos I have to combine together. This is again a way to skip that step if you don't wanna have to merge all your videos in an editing program. Next up is the flip screen. So I think this is a pretty, um, yeah, innovative design feature. I mean, it's always good to have two screens, but why not just have one that can flip around? It's, so usually it's just in this position here, but you just press these two uh, kind of buttons here and it can very freely go all the way to the top. So you can do your selfies. If your camera's attached to a handlebar, you can kind of have it halfway so you can still see what's going on. So yeah, this is a, a pretty useful, user-friendly feature, user-friendly design feature. So I think that's uh, that's something that I'm surprised GoPro hasn't done because it also saves battery only having the single LCD screen. So next up I think is the final AI feature which they mentioned and this is called Clarity Zoom. So this is where you can digitally zoom into your image and the camera's chip, this AI chip, tries to reduce the quality loss even though you've zoomed in times two it should retain pretty much the same quality as the standard zoomed out image. Now, yeah, I have tested this and it is a two time zoom, which again is a little bit more than the GoPro range, which I think is 1.8. Does it retain all of the same quality as the zoomed out? No, probably not all the same, but the quality loss isn't that much. This A, this clarity zoom that they call it does seem to reduce that loss of quality. So it is worth doing if you wanna zoom in quickly on an object or subject. And lastly for me in this roundup of features is the 120 frames per second 4K mode. So that's super slow motion at 4K video resolution, which is pretty high. The GoPro Hero range can do 4K at 100 frames per second. This camera can do 4K at 120 frames per second. So that is very super, super smooth slow motion and I've tested it quite a lot. I do like shooting in slow motion and you can get some really cinematic, cool looking shots, even at nighttime, which usually cameras struggle with shooting slow motion at night, but still the Ace Pro seem to do a pretty good job. So if you did want a camera for slow motion, this is definitely one to consider. So guys, those are the features that I've personally found to be kind of worth talking about with this camera. And there are quite a few. This does seem to be an attempt to really innovate in the action camera market. The latest GoPro Hero 12 was pretty lackluster. There wasn't really anything new. But I do think Insta360 have gone some way to innovate. So there's definitely some things to consider there. Let me know what you think. There are some other features that I've not talked about. For example, it's, uh, it's waterproof up to 10 meters, but I've not tested it. So didn't want to say either way. Um, you also have gesture control, voice control, 
and a few other things which I'm sure you'll find out about. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I will be doing a full review uh, in the next week or so, just once I've had more of a chance to use the camera. I'm sure there will be plenty more videos coming out today. But bear in mind, not all of the features were activated today, so you know, just bear that in mind. But for now, let me know what you think of the Ace Pro. What of these features do you find most interesting? And if you want me to test anything out in the next few weeks with this camera, please feel free to suggest in the comments below. But yeah, guys, that's it. That's the Insta360 Ace Pro. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.